Welcome to the final video in a three-part series where I'll be obtaining every single Uncharted Platinum. Today we're going to be platinuming Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Like always, my main objective was just to beat the game on crushing mode, and whatever other trophies I earn on crushing mode are just another added bonus for me. Alright, so after beating the game on crushing, I have 22 out of the 50 trophies, 22 out of 49 if you don't want to count the platinum. And the first trophy that I'm going for is to get every single loft box in the game. I missed a couple in chapter 8, so we're going to load that up. Alright, so I really don't have a clue where these loft boxes are at. I have two right here that are surrounded by these dudes. What's up, bro? What the at least I can still pick it while I'm getting shot at. Okay, number four. Here is the final lockbox. Should get the trophy. Here we go. That's every single one. All right, we're staying in the chapter because this trophy is called right under your nose and I have to defeat this helicopter right here without killing any of the other enemies. After damaging the helicopter, I regained stealth so I didn't have to worry about getting shot. I then climbed on top of the boxcar, grappled onto the helicopter, climbed up, and introduced myself to the kind man inside. Oh no, he's dead! Oh no, the helicopter's gonna get destroyed. Oh no, and I didn't kill any enemies. Right under your nose, destroy the helicopter without defeating any other enemies. Alright, just like in Uncharted 4, there's chapter specific trophies. Obviously not as much as there's only 9 chapters, but there's still a decent amount. I'd say I still have a little under half of them, even though I just destroyed that helicopter in chapter 8. But the first one that I'm going to be going for is in chapter 2, and I have to use every zip line that it offers me. Alright, so there are 4 zip lines in total in this chapter. First one's right here. Okay, here is the second zip line. Alright, here's the third zip line. All right, this is the fourth one. This is not missable, so you don't gotta worry about this one. First one's not missable either. Pretty simple for this trophy room in chapter four. I just gotta drive off this and kill myself. Let's not get caught. All right, the next trophy in chapter four is to climb to the top of that tower right there. I made it to the tower and began climbing it. After making it to the middle section, I had to figure out which door I needed to climb so I could reach the actual tip. Pause. But after figuring out which door it was, I made it to the top. Okay, that took me a couple minutes to figure out which, which door I was supposed to climb, but we ended up making it or not i always speak too early that's my problem this time we'll actually go on that thing we're supposed to walk on and now we'll get the trophy Magnificent. i thought the trophy would pop by now but maybe it's because i'm jumping maybe she hasn't like solidified her stance on this place yet nadine must be wondering what the hell i'm doing i'm wondering what the hell you're doing because i thought you know the trophy would pop i don't have this trophy already yeah i am I like that. I would not do that. I was not expecting this. They should have made a Nathan do that when I climbed up to the top of the tower with him. I think she's just showing off now. Enough of that. Okay, we're done. Now this trophy took me a couple attempts. To obtain it, I had to drive from the Ganesh Mountain Carving to the top of the waterfall at the Trident Fort and back in under three minutes. All right, hope this was three minutes or less. Let's go. Best driver in the business. All right, this trophy is called Flawless Gauntlet, and it requires me to complete all these axe trials perfectly. Can't mess up at all, but if I do mess up, I can just restart the checkpoint. So kind of giving me an easy pass here. And we completed the first one. All right, here we have our second trial. This one's a little more elaborate with three big axe people. Boom. And here's the final one. This one was the most tricky when I did play it the first time. Left. Bingo. Flawless gauntlet. Alright, so for this trophy, I'm in the Trident Fort and I have to make it all the way to the door without being seen. Quiet as a mouse. All right, this trip right here is a recurring joke in the past couple of Uncharted games. Just jump in the water. Kind of a Marco Polo type thing. Come on. Don't have time to play Marco Polo. I love playing Marco Polo, especially when it gives me a trophy. Now I'm stuck. Marco Polo. No. All right, this trophy right here requires me to take down this APC with C4. I already have two of them on there, so I will get the trophy once I explode it. In three, two, one. All right, this one is also a pretty easy trophy. Just got to take a nice little cannonball dive into this pond. I don't know if you would call this a pond. So that was technically the last chapter specific trophy, but there is a treasure that I have. It's this strange skull right here. And if I ask it a question, it will give me an answer. It's kind of like a magic eight ball. Am I ever getting boobs or what? Spirits are quiet. Of course they are. I'm going to ask it 
Will I ever get a girlfriend? The answer is in limbo. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going for the trophy C4, which requires me to defeat four enemies with one C4 blast. So I restarted the mission so I could take out the APC from up here with their rocket launcher. After I destroy it, a truck of enemy reinforcements will spawn, giving me the perfect opportunity to get four kills at once. Okay, now the reinforcements are here. That didn't kill him. That didn't kill him either. My goal was to kill four people at one time with one singular C4. I might end up getting the kill 20 people with C4s before I get this one. I'm a goddamn lunatic. Royal Demolitionist. There's defeating 20 enemies with the C4, but I need to get four. Oh, I did get it. Okay. All right, this trophy is kind of crazy. I have to defeat someone with a vehicle, then a long gun or melee or something. It's, it, it's something. I didn't pick up the grenade. That's not good. Hopefully this guy has a grenade. He does. Probably not going to get it. Hopefully I get it though. There we go. Make an entrance. All right. So this one was a vehicle, long gun, melee, and grenade in that order. Oh, I didn't realize it was that order. All right. This trophy wants me to kill five enemies in a row with the silenced pistol without being detected. Frazier. Chloe Frazier. All right. Still in the same chapter. This trophy wants me to kill four enemies in 20 seconds with my vehicle. There's this dude. And then there's this dude. 4x4x4, four by four by four. we got it, we got it. This trophy is called Wing Woman. All I have to do to obtain it is to perform 10 combo partner takedowns. Maybe this will be number 10. It is. I also went for the Itchy Trigger Finger Trophy right here. To obtain it, I have to defeat 20 enemies while firing from the hip. All right, this is the 20th person right here. I can see it in the stats, so we know. Yeah, Itchy Trigger Finger. For this trophy, I had to stealth take down 15 enemies in a row, so I loaded up the helicopter encounter and did just that. Just the wind. This trophy wanted me to stealth take down 10 of these enemies right here by ripping their helmets off. But the pounce tactic that I do right here works just as well. All right, this is the final big boy I got to take down stealthily. Tip of the hat. Stealth take down 10 armed enemies without being detected. All right, I'm going for the trophy called Stay and Pray. Just got to kill 20 enemies while I'm blind firing. Do -do 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 -do. Stay and pray. I got to use every single weapon in the game and it says just use it. So if I just shoot it once, does that count? Because it doesn't say I have to get a kill with it. The deagle. We are, I know I used that one. 12 gauge. You only have to shoot the gun once for it to count. I guess I would just, you know, assume you'd have to kill people with it. All right. So for this trophy, I have to kill five enemies, damaging them with a pistol, this gun, and then finishing them off with a melee. Boom. 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 I love the dick kicks, man. Gotta keep it consistent with the dick kicks in the game. Boom. 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 Another dick kick. Boom. Boom. The sampler. To get this trophy right here, I had to perform five grapple swings in a row without touching the ground. Yeah. Tarzana. So I have two trophies left. One is to mark 30 enemies, and the second one is to make it to chapter five without using a gun or explosive to kill anybody. This is an interesting trophy as like the other Uncharted games didn't have anything really like this. It was more speedrun trophies, but I'm not complaining. This one won't take as long, but also I kind of like using the guns in this game. I made my way through the first two chapters as those had no encounters with enemies with weapons in them. But once I made it to chapter three, I knew what was next. We're about to encounter some enemies right here. First encounter with enemies with guns. So this will be interesting. Nadine just took out two of them right there. I don't know if she can take out these people. Yeah, okay. Did you kill? Oh my god. No, he's still alive, Nadine. What are you doing? Even though I'm holding the gun, hey, I didn't commit any crimes, okay? They jumped me first, and I beat them up. In this encounter, I worked on getting my 30 marked targets while taking out all these enemies stealthily. Just took out everybody without a gun. And on to chapter four, the final chapter we need for this trophy. So I messed up being stealthy in the Trident Fort, but I was still able to defeat all the enemies. I then defeated the enemies in the Axe Fort and then made my way to the Bow Fort. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. Well, I don't want you shooting from down here because the whole point of the trophy is not to shoot them from down here. I'll Take it down myself. As I was taking out the enemies in the bow fort, I realized I had almost forgot about the Mark 30 enemies trophy. Oh, I, I gotta mark enemies. Boom. Final enemy mark on the grid. On the grid. I almost said on the grind. Mark 30 enemies. I almost forgot about that trophy. After getting that trophy, I finished up the bow fort by taking out the rest of the enemies. All right, he's the final dude. Can we get a cool epic kill on him? Boom, baby.
All right, so I just completed this encounter, taking everybody out. Have not used my weapon at all. Have not fired one single shot. Haven't thrown any grenades either. Nothing like that. So I don't see why I wouldn't get the trophy. You know, I'm always a little skeptical when it comes to these trophies, though. Maybe there's a glitch or maybe I messed up. All right, I think either after this cutscene ends or like once I go into this building, I'm gonna get the platinum trophy. Yeah, we're gonna have to spin this thing right here. And then this will be the final Uncharted game in the series. I want to do Golden Abyss sometime in the future. I don't have a PS Vita. And you never know. Could be an Uncharted 5 coming out. Doo -doo. Spin it. Spin it for the platinum. I'm ready. Taking it all in. There we go. The way of the warrior. Make it to the outskirts of Halabidu in chapter 5 without using a firearm or explosive. And don't ruin the moment. Collect all the trophies. All right. I haven't done this in a couple of videos, but I just wanted to show you guys. It took me 14 hours to platinum it. The guide says 20, but I think it's just kind of being lenient. I think it definitely could take you 20. Could take you less than 20. Could take you more than 20. All depends on how you play it. I don't know why it says Legacy of Thieves Collections. I, this is Lost Legacy right here. I enjoyed the game. It was short. Maybe I didn't like it as much as the other Uncharted, but I think just because it was kind of shorter. But yeah, still had a good time with it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you're having a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Have a good one.